Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my new updated best settings for a controller. I'm using, as you can see here, a scuff controller, so I'm pretty much just going to be showing you guys the best sensitivity. And I'll be talking about keybinds for a later on video because my keybinds are, they're messed up. They're weird because I, I jump, I jump and do all my stuff with, you know, these bad boys right here. So yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the best settings slash sensitivity that you should use on controller. But yeah, they're just the perfect settings. I've been using them for around uh, two months now, and they are literally the the best, the best possible you can get. So yeah, with that said, I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you want to like the video now, go ahead, but I would like the video later on to see if you actually liked it, you know, this makes a lot more sense. But yeah, subscribe too if you want to, and if you want to support me even further, my code is loyal. It's it's loyal with an S, and if you don't know how to spell it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be right here, okay? Yeah, there, there we go. But yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started with the best Season 7, yeah, Season 7 controller settings. Let's go. All right, so I'm here in my lobby and I had some issues with my recording software. My mic was very loud, so if it changed, um, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, first off, I'm going to quickly show you guys my settings so you can copy it down. And then throughout the video, I'm just going to go through each section of the settings and just break it down, you know, tell you why I chose that specific setting. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead into creative and let's get started with this. Let's go, let's go break down each of these settings. Oh yeah, before we go into the map, this is the map I'm using, my free build practice map. The video flopped for this, but it's a really great map. If you just want to casually build and stuff, it's, it's so good. You'll see. Alright, so the first panel we're going to go over is this little input one and I have auto run off. I don't know. I just don't really uh, care for it, but you could have it on or off. It doesn't matter. Build immediately slash builder pro. You want this on. You, you do. You really want this on. Hold on. I'm drinking water. I'm thirsty. Mm. All right, yeah, you want this on. If you don't know what it does, it pretty much just makes it so your builds place immediately instead of having a delay. Edit whole time. I don't care for this because I have a different editing bind instead of holding down to edit. But if you hold down to edit, put it to the slowest time. Vibration. I have it off. Please turn it off. I just don't like having to hold an earthquake in my hands when I'm trying to shoot at people. So if I were you, I'd, I'd, I'd turn it off. It just allows me to build a lot like smoother and I don't have to really worry about my controller shaking when I, you know, do stuff with my controller. That sounds weird. Okay, next panel, next panel. Okay, now we have the sensitivity panel. I'm gonna skip over this because I wanna talk about the advanced look sensitivity first, which is the one right here. So, um, as you can see, my horizontal and vertical speed is really freaking low. It's 35%, I think that's low. I don't know what you guys are used to, but for me, that is really low. Cause I used to play on really, really fast sensitivity. But yeah, set this to 35, I found it to be perfect. It, it literally is perfect. I have no boosts. So I put this on 0% because I find that boosts kind of mess me up. It's also really hard to get used to boost because it doesn't feel natural. Because what it's doing is it really is just changing your sensitivity depending on how far you move your joystick. Like if I move my thumb to the right more, it will, it won't be 35, 35% sen percent sensitivity anymore. It'll be a lot higher if you know what I mean. It's just completely messing up your sensitivity, which you don't want. And I guess the boost ramp time doesn't matter. I just kept it default because I'm not really, you know, using it. And this doesn't matter too because I have boosts off. But this sensitivity is literally just so perfect like walking around see it's it's really slow I'm not lying when I say it's really slow but this allows you to be a lot more precise with your shotgun shots or just any any hit fire shots in general because it's not hard to control at all it's it's simple since it's so slow that means you can hit your shots a lot easier because you can literally just be a lot more precise with it if I was on fast sensitivity it'd be so hard to control my joystick but here since it's very slow it's just I don't know it feels natural I don't know how to explain it but yeah 35 35 is the way to go no boost it's 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 perfect next settings all right so now we can go back to this sensitivity part so I have my build sensitivity multiplier on 2.5 times and I also have my edit mode sensitivity multiplier on 2.0 so obviously when you're building you don't want to have this slow sensitivity it, it's you can't do anything retakes are gonna be impossible so I obviously sped it up a bit I went to 2.5 times which I'm pretty sure let, let me do the math. I'm pretty sure it's 87.5 uh, sensitivity instead of the 35 sensitivity that I have here. So your building sensitivity is, is pretty fast. This sensitivity allows you to literally just do any retakes. It's still really easy to control because it's still really slow, but you can do most retakes. Not only that, but I find it to be literally so smooth. 
like it, it's it's perfect i'm like i'm like so smooth with it and like i said with this whole video it's just really easy to control like i can it's it's you, you can mess up you can mess up but i can also control my my retakes a lot easier than with faster sensitivity and edit one like i said it's just 2.0 so this one's kind of just the same thing it allows you to select the tiles consistently and it's just really slow so you're not flicking your cursor at not cursor crosshair everywhere making it hard to select tiles like it's really easy to select the right tiles every time that's what i found about this but yeah it's it's literally as simple as that okay next one now you have the aim down sight sensitivity which i have as 8 8 and um i do have boost for this and i'll explain exactly why so 8 8 is really slow like i'm talking really slow when it comes to aiming sensitivity i'll actually see here i don't know if i can show it in this map because i'm i don't really have anything to shoot at let's go here okay i have a scar now okay when i'm aiming in this is my normal speed like i'm i'm not moving my joystick all the way because i i have boosts on but without hitting the boost this is as, as slow as it gets and i chose this sensitivity because it's the perfect sensitivity for when the enemy is far enough for you to use an assault rifle so if, if you think of it whenever you use your assault rifle an enemy is going to be around like you know this distance right and when an enemy moves, that's the exact same speed that I set to the sensitivity. So when an enemy would be running, my crosshair would be moving at that perfect speed. And yes, it can go faster. It can obviously follow the enemy. I don't know if that made sense at all, but in my head it did, and I hope it did for you guys. Just trust me on this one. It's it's perfect. 8-8 eight, eight is perfect. And the reason I have boosts for this is because since it's so slow, it's gonna be hard to catch up. Like, let's say there's an enemy. You see this ramp over here? Alright, let's say I'm much let's say I'm shooting at an enemy over here, and the guy on the ramp to the right is shooting at me i can quickly boost to it and shoot at him yeah that's what the boosts are for it's just so you can quickly get across the screen and shoot at other enemies it's, it's as simple as that and yes it does take a lot of practice to get used to the boosts but but that's what happens when you have to get used to new settings you're, you're you're gonna have to get used to new stuff so advanced sensitivity so this is the dampening time i have this at zero zero um i've never really experimented too much with dampening but i just found zero zero to be good and input curve if you have this on the exponential set this to linear if you don't know what exponential is it's really just super hard to explain but as a whole uh linear curve is exactly straight right so your speed is being consistent but an exponential curve is like it, it's curved it's not straight which means that your speed when you're moving your joystick is not going to be exactly the same every time if it's really hard to explain if you know what i mean but set it to linear trust me it's so much easier to control and it just feels a lot more natural on your thumbs oh and obviously you want aim assist strength on 100 percent that is, yeah you want that <laughs> next up is dead zone so dead zone i have on 5.5 what you want for dead zone is to have it at the lowest possible and that is because what dead zone is is pretty much a zone where when you move your joystick it doesn't activate at all so if i move my joystick really slightly see you can see on the screen it's actually working it's moving but if i set my dead zone a bit higher let's say i set my dead zone to 70 percent right when i am moving my joystick see i'm moving it but it's not working until i move the joystick 70 percent of the way of its length there we go yeah so it's literally just like that Th that's what dead zone is so obviously you want it set to the lowest possible so it will always um so there's no delay at all when you're using your joystick only reason you want to use dead zone is, is if you have stick drift like if your controller is broken and it moves without you moving the joystick then experiment and keep adding numbers to it it honestly just depends on if your controller is fine but if you don't have stick drift five percent is the way to go you just want to keep it at five percent and lastly we just have foot controller i don't have a foot controller so i just i don't know why i put it on i don't know why i put it on but just copy it if you want to it literally doesn't do anything if you have a foot controller i don't know what to tell you because i don't use a foot controller <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much all the settings that i have to cover in this video you know i will be doing a keybinds video later on in the future but it's just gonna be a bit weird because i am gonna be using you know i'm using paddles so it doesn't make too much sense but i will try to you know i will try to cover a video for that you know anyways like i said in the intro and throughout the whole video i found these settings to be as perfect as possible you can be as consistent as possible with your retakes and your aim or editing it's just so good it's not fast to the point where you're flicking and it looks ugly and messy since it's slow it's super smooth so you can like pull off really smooth retakes especially if you're a youtuber it's just really pleasing to watch someone with this um sensitivity they're just really clean settings that's that's what it is but yeah that's basically all there is for today's video i didn't really want to make this video a super long one i just wanted to 
talk about my settings and what I'm using up to date because a lot of you guys are asking because of my montage is like how are you so smooth how are you so consistent with your retakes and th this is why it's it's my settings so if you made it this far into the video please drop a like because if you did make it far into this video which you did that means you enjoyed it because if you didn't enjoy it you would have clicked off by now yeah see i'm a mastermind so like the video also subscribe if you like to watch more videos of me i'm gonna be doing a lot of cool awesome videos from now on so drop a sub but yeah that's that if you want to support me my code is loyals it's loyal with an s and i'd appreciate it so much but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one